Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. After a long, long time, you know, uh, I've been recording this video because uh, in the middle uh, we had the exams and then we had the tests and a lot of things here and there. That's why I couldn't post a video for the last three to four weeks. Extremely apologetic about it. But today when I come, I sit here with the most uh, favorite subject of mine, chemical technology. Yes, this is the subject that have been very dear and near to me. A subject that has been my favorite subject in the four years of my uh, bachelor's uh, in chemical engineering from Jadavpur University um, when I was learning this subject why did I love like this subject so much and I'm going to tell the importance of this subject today and what are the questions that you can expect when you say chemical technology what kind of important questions do you expect from here uh, I like this subject primarily because it is the application of chemical engineering we do mass transfer we do heat transfer we do fluid mechanics all of these are fundamental concepts right these are interesting in their own sets but what connects all of them why are we doing this what is the tangible outcome of this what are we gaining of this we are opening industries we are opening manufacturing units we are manufacturing from a pen tip to a plastic bag everything and every unit is governed by the entire industrial domain application of chemical engineering and this is where chemical technology is chemical technology is the app application of chemical engineering in industry and that's why I loved this subject thoroughly and uh, probably uh, I was good at it as well at one point of time you know uh, now also I'm fascinated by how the industry is run what are the processes of it uh, basically the process engineering uh, you know uh, uh, every uh, process if you consider it to be a block it is a block flow diagram then you uh, go into the nitty gritties of the process a little bit you try to understand which are the inflow streams which are the outflow streams what are the uh, conditions pressure and temperature conditions of those streams and then you finally come out to a conclusion uh, that this is the flow of the process you get a process flow diagram and finally you get a PNID that is the process and instrumentation uh, pipeline pipeline and in instrumentation diagram of the uh, entire uh, plant where you get to look at all the instrument settings the pipe diameter radius what is the MOC that is the material of construction all of this studies is basically a part of chemical technology where you study about the entire process and the application of the fundamentals of chemical engineering into, chemi into the industry now what kind of questions do you uh, expect First of all, the interview that you are sitting for the company, you should study about that company in particular. What industry does it operate in? If it's an alcohol manufacturing industry, say you are going for maybe uh, Diageo or you are going for Abinbev uh, for a particular you know, uh, chemical process engineer role, you are definitely expecting questions from distillation. You are definitely expecting questions from uh, you know how the entire process of distillation occurs how the entire process of um, of of, of uh, winding the system of uh, manufacture of the alcohol in steps you know what are the processes involved if you are going simultaneously to a PSU say ONGC or BPCL who deals in oil and gas you are expecting the uh, questions from crude oil distillation from desalting uh, from electrification and then stepwise what is VDU what is ADU these kind of questions you can expect which are already there on my channel so you understand the industry that you are going for an interview in and the questions are going to be very specific to that industry now chemical technology is no funda it is no theory it is practically what is happening in a process what is the catalyst of the process what is the temperature and pressure of the process now when a particular plant is coming in for the interview on the internet an open sourcing environment you are not going to get what are the catalysts or what is the temperature or pressure conditions generally in that plant but generally if you are sitting say say uh, i will take my example if you are, if i am sitting for a, a process specific role in an acid manufacturing unit i would learn what is dcda process i would learn the basic you know uh, conditions of the streams of the processes the basic units that are involved or uh, why is it called a dcda double conversion a double absorption process you know what is the role of the converter what is the role of the uh, strip gas stripper what is the role of the uh, vacuum uh, cleaner what is the role of the uh, of the absorption towers uh, what is the role of the cooling tower there so all of these together units come in to actually make the unit possible the entire production unit possible what is the intertwining role in each of them how do they interact among themselves these are the important pertaining and pressing questions of chemical technology that you can expect so study the industry that you are going into study the manufacturing process or study the industrial process that you are going in an interview for study its elements from the pfd pnid and uh, bfd whatever is available on the internet study the process conditions and then understand how you can apply the concepts of chemical engineering there 
what kind of concepts of absorption can you absorb uh, can you know, apply in the absorption tower what kind of heat exchanger concepts can you actually apply in the heat exchangers what is the what is the kind of reactor that we use so it's a packed bed reactor packed bed reactor in a converter in an asset plant so what kind of uh, uh, packing do they use is it a hollow packed bed reactor or completely packed bed reactor what kind of reactor it is you will have to learn every step every process you will have to understand how the fund of chemical engineering fits into its boss and if you can understand this you have cracked the interview of chemical technology chemical technology is nothing but the application of the fundamentals of chemical engineering be it absorption tower be it distillation column be it evaporator be it heat exchanger be it fluid mechanics be it mass transfer be it uh, chemical reaction engineering be it pdc whatever is the subject irrespective of that the application of any kind of engineering into its translation is chemical technology boss and if you are sitting for an interview you need to understand the process you need to understand the chemical engineering concept why is it happening where is it happening what is the steam jet ejector system we all know you have studied it in fluid mechanics or in mass transfer whatever <coughs> be the system even in heat transfer but what is the use of the steam jet ejector to create the vacuum in the vacuum distillation column why do we need the steam jet ejector what is its purpose what does it do how does it create the vacuum and these kind of questions you can explain so you you know how the concepts are intertwined to create the magic of the processes because we do chemical engineering or do, do mechanical engineering to ultimately see a tangible outcome and that is what they will ask so that is it for today i think it gives you the overall view of what is chemical technology and what are the important questions that can be asked from chemical technology um, i will end it up here if you like it like it share it subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon for regular updates share it with your friends we will bring more videos like this related to management related to engineering trust me it is the best techno management channel in the country right now that's it signing off for today